So you have an electric generator like this, and you want to build your own remote control for less than $30. I'm going to explain you how. Also, I'm going to show you why this is better than the Honda. I bought the Honda in a dealership, and it wasn't working properly, and it was a pain. So I decided to build my own. So I'm going to push this, and I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show you step by step how you can make your own, or if you want me to make it for you, I can do that as well. All right, uh, you have to remove the plug that you have here. So once you remove the plug, now I'm going to show you how to make your own. All right, once you have uh, removed the plug here, you have the battery here. So here you're going to use one of these cables, uh, the negative, but I'm going to show you uh, now. For instance, when you buy this type of uh, uh, electronics, so you will have this. You will have this uh, is for the um, power, so this is the what is the the electronic uh, device is going to use to power up and to make it work, and uh, you're going to have this uh, here that these are the relays. So you have the relay A and B. At least that is the name I put. So that way I know which one is which with the remote control. So I'm using the B to start the the engine or the the generator and the A just to turn it off. Uh, but if you want to do it any other way, you can do uh, the same thing. So basically, you have, like I said, this is for power. This works on 12 volts. I'm going to leave you the link if you, if you want to buy it and do it yourself. Or like I said, if you want me to do it for you, everything, all the connections, and the only thing that you have to do is just plug it in here. I, I can do this uh, the same thing for, uh, for you. So this is uh, how it works. So basically, you are going to use the first uh, relay here. You're going to use the first co uh, contact, the pin 1 and pin 2. And then that is going to go, as you can see here, to the cable, the green and the purple. So basically, uh, with this goes li like that. With the, this uh, connector goes on, on the bottom. As you can see, this is the locking mechanism that goes uh, like this. So you're going to use the green one and the or, uh, the purple one. So it's the one, two, three. So one and three. So that is what you're going to connect uh, here in this first two. And the other one, the second uh, relay that you see here, you're going to connect the, the last two. Not the first, not the first uh, two, the last two. And I'm going to tell you why. So if the, these two, like I said, is uh, green and purple, and the other one is going to be the red and blue. So you're going to use the other two ends. And, uh, and later I'm going to show you in the whiteboard how this works so basically you're going to use these two and then like i said purple and red or if you are facing the the plug uh, like this this is the fourth one and the eighth one and on the on the on the bottom as you can see here so you're going to see i want to show you here so that way it's very clear is the first one here and the last one here. So that is how it works for uh, that. So once you do that, you will be set. And then uh, the other, in order to make it work, you need the, the positive. So in this case, we are going to grab the, the positive from here, the red uh, cable. It goes to the red uh, wire. The red wire is, like I said, uh, on the on the top. So that is how it goes. And that that's it. So that is, um, you could, instead of doing this, you could put it just here. The problem, if you do this, uh, it's going to drain your battery, you know, 24-7. But if you do it that, that way, uh, the good thing is when you turn this on, the remote control is going to be uh, available or enabled. Uh, when you turn it off, it's going to be off. Now you don't see anything because I have this is, is unplugged. But once I plug this in, as you can see, there we go. We have the LED light and now, if we push push the, the B, it will start, and uh, with the A, 
it will stop. So the main thing, I bought the original, the Honda, but the problem is that it wasn't working properly. I, I went to the dealership and they, they, they even they, they, they couldn't make it work. So all right, I, I, they say, okay, just try, play with it. And if you cannot make it work, return it to us. So that is what I did. And I uh, got tired, you know, trying with the original the remote control and I decided to make my own. So by doing this, it works just fine <laughs> with the original uh, trend that uh, has the Bluetooth possibility. Uh, it wasn't working even with the, their own remote control. It wasn't working. Also, in order to set it up, you have to do this like uh, 10 times and it's a pain in the butt. This, you, you make it the way I'm saying and it works. It just works. You don't have to deal with anything. So now I'm going to the whiteboard and I'm going to show you the the theory so that way you you know how it works. This class I'm going to teach you uh, how this uh, work. So that way this is a diagram how this uh, system works so that uh, that way you know uh, what you're doing. Otherwise like I said before if you want me to send it to you already made I can do that as well. Just leave me a comment in the section below. Here is the electromagnet. So basically what you, we, what you have to do is you have to close circuit in order to make make uh, this work. So basically this is the electromagnet if you never uh, seen one. So you have uh, leg one, leg uh, two and three. So leg, we have leg uh, two and three. They are touching each other. So the, the circuit is closed uh, already and you don't have to do anything. Even if there is no power on this uh, circuit, uh, you're going to have this uh, um, this contact is going to be closed. I mean, you're going to have a closed circuit. So if you put something on those uh, legs, you're, you're going to have a closed circuit, like I said before. So if, uh, what happens if you enable the electromagnet? So the leg number two is going to touch el el the leg number one. And that is how it works. That is how you close that circuit. So, so in this case, for this uh, generator, like I said before, you're going to have two contacts. Uh, you, you have to have one is the contact, you know, like the car, you put it in contact and then you move it a little bit, you turn it a little bit more, the key, and then uh, the, once the engine starts, you release the key and that's it. So in this case, it's kind of the same. So basically uh, you have relay one, relay two. So you have a leg one, leg two, leg three, leg one, leg two, and leg, leg three. So basically you're going to have in the in this circuit, depending on whatever you're going to buy, you're going to buy for you're going to have, for instance, leg one and two. They're going to be closed all the time, and uh, you are going to have here leg one and two closed all the time, and you're going to have a leg three. It's not going to be closed all the time. It's going to be closed only when you push the button. So when you start the generator, because you have the key, it's going to feed uh, up this uh, electronic board and you're going to have the contact is going to be closed in, in leg number one and two here. So that way the generator is almost ready to go. So the only thing that is needed is to push the relay number uh, two, in this case, uh, the button number B, and then you're going to close the leg two and three. Once you close the leg number two and three, that is going to close the circuit here and you're going to have the start. The start is going to start the engine. The starter is going to start the engine and that's it. And it works. So now you're thinking, okay, so if we have, you know, a closed circuit here all the time, I mean, what is the sense of that? Of that? Okay, this is very important because if you want to turn off the generator, you're going to need this. So because we have a contact here all the time, and if you want to uh, turn off the generator, you have to press the, the letter A, in this case is the relay A1. So because you have these, the number one and number two is always is touching each other. You have a closed circuit here. You're going to need at least for one second the, to interrupt that, uh, that circuit, and that's it. So when you, pro you, when you press the, le the letter A, you're going to have the contact between number two and number three. And number three, we don't have anything. Um, we don't care about that. But uh, that will be enough to interrupt the circuit, to open the circuit at least for one second, and that will turn off the generator. And then once you release the button, it doesn't matter. It will go to contact again, but the generator will be off. And if you want to start it all over again, if you want to run it again, 
you, you press just the related number two and that's it. So it's very easy. So hopefully this video was uh, useful. And like I said before, I took the generator and I bought the original one and it was a nightmare. It didn't work. And if you see, if you search online for this type of generator, at least with the remote control, uh, there are many people complaining about the thing, the same thing. I had the same issue and I had to return it and I said, okay, I'm going to make my own and it worked just well. Uh, hopefully this was a uh, useful for you and I'm going to try to leave the in the video description all my information if you want to contact me or if you want to buy the products for yourself and do it yourself and uh, let me know if everything was successful for you and see you in the next class all right you're going to need one of these so the way you're going to cut uh, here a little bit on the side or maybe you can use a knife so that way you can close it otherwise uh, the the hole that it comes here is for something else, it's not for this uh, device.